it's interesting playing, I don't often play guitar these days, but it's always interesting playing with another drummer, particularly if I'm playing another instrument, because these days I often play a lot of drums, so it's like um, I'm speaking, like it feels like I'm speaking another language to a language that I normally speak. I don't know, it's like, it's an interesting experience, I guess I'll kind of open with saying that, because it's, yeah, not something I often do these days. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. That was some interesting bits in there. Yeah, it had a little bit of a swing to it, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was going to ask you again, like, I mean, just by in terms of speed, it, the ability to access something, especially melody, so quickly compared to drums. I mean, I, I have very limited experience with guitar, but I, I know sometimes I'm able to get melodic ideas out so much quicker. I mean, I know, mean, on the drums, sorry, <laughs> so much more complex when you're thinking melodically to, to right, to, to speak, you know, mm. to, to say what you want to say. So I was wondering how that plays into it, just this sort of... Yeah, it, it's a funny one, because I mean, I grew up playing piano, I grew up playing guitar, so like pitch was a big part of my life mm. growing up, and, and these days with the drums, not, not nearly as much. So it's a, a weird one for me. Like I, I played in a duet with a friend for a bunch of years where I played drums and he played sax. And there was always this dichotomy of like, that was a thing that we didn't share was pitch. So we had rhythm and we had dynamics and all these other yeah. overlaps that pitch was an area that we didn't so much converse. So it's, it's interesting for me being that in that role where I, I carry sort of pitch as a thing, but I guess to a certain extent melody, which for my part, I kind of try to eschew a little bit as well, like playing somewhat percussion-y. <clears throat> percussively rather but because of the setup and the, the way that you play in the sort of three tom kind of setup it is a quite a melodic approach to kit which is uh, kind of complements this one i think made for some interesting things and, and it, we've not played together in, in this context or maybe even ever i don't, I don't think we've ever played yeah yeah <laughs> um so yeah it was interesting to kind of go into it so i ended up for a lot of it kind of moving out of the way or getting like either quite a bit above you or sometimes a bit below you um, to kind of leave some of that middle area yeah, for the kind of um, melodic -y tom thing happening. Did you feel like you were playing percussively at all? Like on the for, for some of it, yeah. In the middle of it, I, I kind of went to a more percussive space. Yeah, it felt like we were yeah, doing a sort of staccato type thing and yeah, kind of weaving in and out of each other yeah, a little yeah. bit. Which is interesting because the, the dynamic range on, on guitar, at least electric guitar plugged into an amp like this, isn't nearly as as wide as the one I'm used to. So like yeah. I can get quite a get quieter, but like it doesn't like with, with acoustic drums you can really like there's a a high ceiling in terms of how dynamic you can go. Not that it needs to get very loud, but um right. it was interesting with that where I'm like kind of playing and like the dynamic range isn't quite what I'm used to either, which is interesting to play as well. But um it was nice to slide into that language a bit in the middle where I was, I was trying to play more percussively, um, and then, yeah, going back to it. Um, what do you make of, and, and it's, it's tricky, and particularly like when you've not played with someone before or, or, or have very little playing um, experience playing with someone, is the um, kind of uh, this shape, like a sort of a fade in and a fade out kind of gesture, which is very easy and very natural, and it, it's, it's a very... Yeah, it's almost like a polite... Thing yeah, yeah. When you're improvising with someone, especially for the first time, um, but it it usually does happen that way, just because you're trying to find each other a little mm. bit. And if you're just like, Psh -kum, you know, <laughs> I mean, I I am all for trying everything, but mm. yeah, I think if you don't know somebody, it's just it feels like kind of a bit more polite, but <laughs> maybe it's not always the best thing. I, you know, uh, yeah, I think it's. But again, you know, it's your language, whatever your language is, even almost like when you first meet somebody, you're not in their face. <laughs> you know, it depends, unless you're drunk or something. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you, but, yeah. I really like cars. Yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. So it kind of mirrors, you know, a conversational, you know, style. I think most people do improvise like that because, yeah, they're, they're, they don't, they don't speak that way. They don't come and confront somebody right when they meet them. <laughs> or, yeah. yeah. Who do you think you are? Well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
It's a, yeah, it's an interesting one because like it, for me, like when when playing, I, I try to as much as possible try to mitigate some of that because it could be like not boring, but like if yeah. if every performance is gonna start off with like oh no no after you no oh, after you like, yeah no I, I'm not a fan yeah. of that at all. <laughs> No, I'm not a fan of that. But um, yes, I like to get into some challenging things. I want I want to be challenged. And mm. I want to challenge somebody. I don't want to be tiptoeing around anyone. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's interesting that because like a, a default almost is like when yeah when you play with someone for the first time, mm -hmm. it's like you you want to you you don't know where the other person's yeah, coming from. I mean, from. I think we were probably yeah not at our full force, yeah. <laughs> neither one of us. So, yeah, you know, it's interesting. That, but I mean, all that's also another way to speak. You don't have to speak full, full force every time you come in contact with, even if you're used to playing with each other. I think hmm. you can still be very uh, soft spoken or you subtle. Know, or subtle, exactly. Yeah. Subtle. Hmm. So, seems like we both like that. Subtlety. Hmm. I do. Yeah. Not really sure how subtle I. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I end up being, but I try. I mean, how do you find it with with drums in general? Like, uh, what what's your sort of not threshold for for subtle, but like how? I mean, fundamentally, like we're hitting things with things, so like that's already kind of a a quite forward thing. Like, how do you yeah, yeah. how how subtle, how nuanced, how? I think I I go for the drama. Like, I like to build up drama, hmm. and I'm very. You know, uh, like I don't want to say cinematic, but I think I do like to build up some so, to something that I don't really know what yet, but I'm I've I you know kind of make a conscious decision that decision in the middle of something to okay I'm going to build something I'm going to build it up now rather than just be you know nonstop confrontational I want to build something up so that I can I mean it's common artistic thing and everybody does that but yeah I'm not I'm not always thinking that way but sometimes I do want to have uh you know extreme like dynamics so some you know make the loud or confrontational parts uh stand out more or even the opposite um build up to a quiet part by uh, you know you know louder conversational <laughs> way but yeah. sometimes I mean I'm a painter originally so I always think in terms of texture and color and um you know a, a kind of a design mm. a, a, a mental um not like a complete mental image but I like in terms of um you know something that's like Unified, but with a little variety, or something that is have, has a focal point, or something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm always um, thinking about drumming that way, at least. Hmm. I don't know about other forms of music, but yeah. that's yeah. Mm. Cool. Well, shall we find some of that uh, texture in drama? Yeah, let's get. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.